Uh, in this case, he read some books. Um, guys, I'm going to have to be really quick on this one because I've got to shoot into town. I've got to uh, meet uh, another YouTuber uh, to give him something. And I also have to um, go somewhere else first. But before I do that, I was literally just about to go out the door uh, when um, these arrived. Now, um, I was a big fan of the Lone Wolf book series. I should have prepared this a uh, little bit better. You're going to have to forgive me. Um, and um, those books, which I have the originals of here in a box that, again, I dug out from the shed. Um, here's the original number one. Oh, there we go. Flight from the Dark. So these were um, the kind of rival book series to Fighting Fantasy. Uh, which was the the sort of the um, done by the guys who did Dungeons and Dragons. Um, now, Flight from the Dark was the uh, the first book in the Lone Wolf series, uh, written by Joe Diva, illustrated by artist Gary Chalk. And um, this was just a, it was a more involved, continuous story, and I really loved it as a kid. Um, and I, I've got the first ten here, I believe. Um, There's number two, Fire on the Water. Um, and I, I, I've got the other 10, but I'm, I'm in a real rush. I'm not going to get all of those out. But um, I thought it would be really interesting to do um, uh, an industry interview um, with the son um, of Joe Diva, um, who created the book series, uh, Ben, because he's been partly responsible um, for uh, revitalizing it. Now, um, Ben isn't massive on uh, doing interviews, but uh, one of the other people who's uh, been responsible for the show is, um, or revitalizing the book, sorry, is uh, a guy called um, August Han. And um, uh, August Han is going to come on the show and talk to me about everything to do with this series. It was also de developed into a role playing game, and the books have been reissued. And I've got to say, they are really nice. So they've done, I think they've done the first five already. There are there are 28 books in the series, and I think um, that, are, that were originally available. I only ever got the first 10, and then kind of life and other things got in the way, you know, and you, you kind of moved into different things. But these are the reissues, so they've just arrived in the post. So this is uh, Flight from the Dark, uh, the new one. Quite a meaty tomb. And there, there was a really hardcore fan base online. The, the drilled into the detail of all this stuff by the way i hope people are finding my uh my rushed morning haircut entertaining um this is what it looks like without the baseball cap on so so they really drilled into the detail and and there were a few glitches and things in the original book apparently so um i remember finding one in one of the books at, at some stage but i can't remember much more about it anyway so there we go um that's the first one um it's, just, it's in the plastic I'll take it out from the plastic because it's getting a lot of light reflected. I haven't set my lights up properly or anything. Anyway, there we go. Flight from the Dark, book one. So quite a meaty, meaty tomb. Nice big text, which is good for my old eyes. So for those of the uninitiated, this is one of these books where you, you're kind of, um, you're playing a game through the story and it's it's like a um, a role-playing game. Um, and you're playing this character and um, who's, who's, you know, his order has been assassinated. They've been attacked. They've been assassinated. And uh, he's the last survivor. It, it's got a very Star Warsy feel um, meets Lord of the Rings. I just I loved the story. I always thought it would make such a great TV show. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would love to write the scripts if that was ever, ever going to happen. But um, so you got that's the first one. And then you have the Caverns of Colte, which is the second one. But I'm really going to have to, 20 past one, I'm really going to have to rush uh, this. So there we go, Caverns of Colte. Um, fantastic stuff. Uh, that's, is that the second one or the third one? I think that's the third one, actually. Sorry, Fire on the Water is the second one. This is the third one. Because um, I have the original of this as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. So... Bit of a comparison shot there. That's book number three. Sorry, that's just the order they they were stacked in. And book number two. So I've done it all wrong. 
So I feel that the Lance befuddlements are uh, one of the things that make this channel uniquely entertaining. Um, so I might put that on a T-shirt, merchandising. We love our befuddlements. So Fire on the Water, that's the second book. I really liked this one, I, I remember, because I, I, I got... I mean, I haven't played these books since I was like a teenager, but I, I've I've got recollections that there was a big sea battle and you're kind of in a ship and um, yeah. So then this is the this is the original of that. You see, I never I never threw these out. I never traded them. I always wanted to hang on to them. I just I just liked them and I just thought maybe one day I'll read through the whole series again. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to do like these little kind of, well, they're not going to be little. They're going to be long streams. I'm going to be doing these long streams where I'm going to play the play the books. Um, but I can't wait to get August Han on, um, who's going to come uh, onto the show and talk about the whole project um, behind getting it revitalized. There's a website called Project Eon, which a lot of the fans will know about. I'm going to talk about all of that. This is a, a very quick stream uh, just to say the books have arrived. I can't wait to dive in. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this um, and telling people all about it and introducing uh, a load of new uh, readers uh, to the world of the Lone Wolf uh, books. They're a lot of fun. And I just, the fighting fantasy books for me, because they were standalone, they, they weren't as in capsulating. It's like when I read, when I finished reading one of these books, I couldn't wait to do the next um, in the series, I couldn't wait to see where the story progressed. It's like you know, the Empire, end of Empire Strikes Back. You know what's going to happen. So um, yeah, my name is Lance Nilsson. I'm the co-founder of the Outcast Creative. Uh, this has been a gut reaction, and the gut reaction is very good. And I'm going to have to leave now because I've really got to run. Um, but do um, like and subscribe, and stay creative, um, and spread the word about the channel. Uh, like I said, this is a proper last minute. Uh, video there's not even anybody watching right now but i will post it and repost it everywhere uh, as soon as i get back home this evening we have another video on tonight i'm interviewing two indie directors tonight so please do come and join me then all right take care bye